What's going on YouTube? Chase here on Aftershock Videos and today for our deck profile suggestion we have, as you can see, Jurex. Now Jurex are like a, look like a, just like a colorful dinosaur archetype. Um, not a lot of their effects seem to be really that good, but I mean, they have some potential, but it's, it's a, it's a long calling. I've, I've been looking at these and like I said, they don't have a whole lot going for them. All the spells you see here are not part of the archetype. They literally have pretty much the monsters you see, the synchros, and the three traps. So that's all they have for this. So in order to make this even close to playable, I had to add in all these extra tr spells to kind of give them a boost and some protection because they just don't, like I said, they just don't have a lot going on for them. So, so we'll see what this thing can do. Um, let's just go ahead and go over the card by card. We have two Jurak Titanos. Uh, this one says cannot be special summoned, but it also cannot be targeted by traps or monster effects. And then once per turn, you can banish one Jurak monster with 1,700 or less attack from your graveyard. And this card gains 1,000 until the end phase. So he can be pretty beefy. He can go up to 4K. However, it just says it cannot be special summoned. So that's pretty bad. Uh, we have one Jurak Spinos. Uh, this says, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you special summon one Spinos token and attack position into your opponent's field. Not sure what the benefit to that is, because I don't see anything else that says if, like maybe if the, another card says, if your opponent controls a token, you could special summon the dinos, but, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, next, we have one Jurak Tyrannus. This one is you can tribute one dinosaur monster, and this card gains 500 attack. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, this card gains 300 attack. So, again, beefy, kind of pumping itself up, but you got to tribute a dinosaur monster to do that. We have one Jurak Hera. When a defense position Jurak monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. That one's okay. But it needs to be specifically, you have, you have to have another Jurek monster specifically destroyed by battle. So, most most card effects now, if you as, as you know, are, you know, destroyed by effects or stuff like that. Next, we have one Jurek Protops. It's a level 4, just, just says this card gains 100 attack for each monster your opponent controls. And, you know, starting out at 1700, that's not a whole lot. Next, we have one Jur or, uh, two Jurek Velo. Uh, says when this car when this face up attack position card you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you could special summon one direct monster with 1700 or less attack from your deck i like that a lot of these aren't once per turn but however again everything needs to be seems to be needing to be destroyed by battle so that is very circumstantial next we have two jurek iguanons it says if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle you can select one set card your opponent controls, return to the hand. Again, not too bad, but the destroy having needing to be destroyed by battle is pretty restrictive. Next, we have three Jurak Guaybas. The level four, 1700 attack. It's how most of these lower level ones are. It says if this card if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon one Jurak monster with 1700 or less attack from your deck. Now that is pretty good, but then it says. But it cannot declare an attack this turn. So again, these have potential, but the fact that they have to be destroyed by battle or de or or destroyed by battle to get these somewhat decent effects is it's kind of just kind of lackluster. Next we have Jurak Dino. It is a level three tuner, seventeen hundred attack, like some other ones. It says once during each player's end phase, if this card destroyed of an opponent's monster by battle this turn, you can tribute one Jurak monster to draw two cards. So that draw two cards is okay, but you need to destroy something by battle. Um, this, we got two Jurak Monolof. This is a level three, 1500 attack. Says this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. But you know, for 1500, how many monsters are you gonna possibly destroy in today's meta? Next, we have three Jurak Bronchies. Level three, 1,000 attack and defense. That is a tuner, though. It says, while another face-up Jurak monster is on the field, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. So, seeing how most of these cards needed to be destroyed by battle, this one seems a little... I mean, I guess it's protection on the tuner, but... 
I, I just don't know about this one, you guys. So next we have two Jurak Pateras. It's a level 3, 800 attack, 1500 defense. says, if this card is attacked, return the attacking monster to the hand after damage calculation. And this card gains defense equal to the return monster's level times 100. So that's permanent. So that one is actually not too bad. Now, whether it can be set and then attack and flipped says return the attacking monster to the hand after damage calculation so i guess this could be a built-in like compulse maybe and then it gains a gains defense equal to the uh, monster's level that was sent so this this one actually isn't too bad so next monster we have is jurak galim it says, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, your opponent can discard one card to negate this card's effect. Otherwise, destroy the monster that destroyed its card. So that one's okay. It is a two, level level 2 tuner. We have two Jurax uh, Starico, I think. It says, if this card is destroyed by battle, special summon two Jurax tokens. Uh, dinosaur level, f level 1 fire, attack and defense 0 in defense position. They cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. Unless it's for a Jurak monster. So this could help go into the uh, Jurak Titano or the Spinos because they're higher level. Next we have two Jurak Io Iolo. You can tribute this card to select one level 4 or lower Jurak monster in your graveyard. Except itself a special summon that monster to the graveyard. So I guess this is a way to get you know, a tuner on another tuner on the field or... You know, something like that, or just help with the synchro plays. But then again, you do got to tribute it. So unless you tribute it for maybe another tuner, kind of seeing, kind of not seeing how good this is. So that rounds out for the monsters. Let's go ahead and go to the spells that hopefully makes this more playable. We have one uh, Ira Dora of Faith. It says pay 1,000 life points and target one face of monster you control. It gains 1,000 attack until the end of your opponent's turn. And if it does, apply the effects. Apply this effect until the end of your opponent's turn. Each time it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can reveal the bottom card of your deck, place it on top of, of the deck, or, or the bottom of the deck. This says, if the revealed card was a, was a dragon, dinosaur, sea serpent, or worm monster, draw one card for every 1,000 attack of, the, of that monster, then gain 1,000 life points for each card drawn. So that could be pretty good. Then we have three double summons because most of this, almost none of these can special summon easily. So that might come in handy. And then for power boosts and a little bit of protection, we have three powers of the guardian and three moon mirror shields. And then for the traps, all we have for the Jurax are the Jurax impacts. As if you control a dinosaur type monster with 2,500 more or attack, destroy all cards on the field, which, you know, that's one, two, three, four. Not how, not sure how often that's going to come up. And then once you finally get that big beater on set on the field, you know, how, why would you almost want to use this, you know, but this says cannot be targeted by trash. This doesn't target. So it does destroy itself. I don't know. Anyways, going into the extra deck, we have three Jurak, uh, Vel Fido's to level five takes one tuner, one or more non tuner dinosaur types. So specifically dinosaurs. This card's attack and defense are equal to the total original attack of the synchro material monsters used for the synchro summon. If this card attacks a face down defense position monster, you can destroy the monster immediately with this card's effect without flipping it face up or applying damage or uh, damage calculation. So it's kind of like one of those uh, mystic swords, mystic swordsman's kind of. If it's face down, you can destroy it. So that's okay. This, then we got three Jurak uh, Giganoto. It's a level 7, 2100 attack, 1800 defense. It says when this card is face up on the field, all Jurek, all face up Jurek monsters you control gain 200 attack for each Jurek monster in the graveyard. That's kind of a few hoops to jump through. And then lastly, we have a level 10 Jurek Meteor. This was takes one Jurek tuner and two or more uh, non dinosaur type monsters or non tuner dinosaur type monsters. When this card is synchro summoned, destroy all cards on the field. Then you can special summon one tuner monster from your graveyard. Now, if it says if it said destroy all other cards on the field, where you keep this on the field, that would be actually pretty good. But this says destroy all cards on the field, and I'm assuming that it includes itself. I think it's a special summon a tuner. So once once the 
board is wiped. You get one tuner on the field, and the only tuners they have are the Jurek Dino, uh, the Mono Monolof. But look at there are seventeen hundred and fifteen hundred attacks. So it's just, it's just, I just don't see the benefit to almost any of these cards. But it was a deck suggestion, so I'm going to honor the request, and we're going to try to play this, and then try to play a revamped version of it. So hopefully we can get some sort of a win on this. But anyways, guys, let's throw this one into EDO Pro Duels, and let's see how it does. All right, guys, here we are in our first EDO Pros with a pure Jurak deck. Let's see if we can do anything at all. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be going first. Okay, so we have the one that... This destroys an opponent's monster by battle. You can special summon from your deck. Uh, this is the power boost with the draws. Uh, this is the tuner. Tribute this card. Special summon a monster from your graveyard. Same one. And another tuner. If this card is destroyed by battle since the graveyard, your opponent can discard. I guess we'll set this and hope for the best. I don't. I do not believe we're gonna be winning anything with this specific deck. Well, I destroyed by card effect, so didn't even get the value off of that. Is this guy really gonna run out of time? Oh my god, this guy could have won so easily and he ran out of time. Alright, just to spare the extra brain cells, I am not going to be playing this. We just got super lucky. People need to pay attention to how long they take. But that is just... I cannot believe we actually won by timeout. But, okay. So let's go ahead and get into the revamped version. And that might be a little bit better. So here we are with the revamped deck. As you can see, it's a little bit more uh, pro dinosaur deck. We got the ultimate Tyranno, uh, the giant Rex, Miss got Soul Eating Nova Raptor, Scrap Scrap Raptor, uh, Pet Petit Nano, uh, Petit Ranodon. What else we got? The Animadorn, Triple Tactics, Double Evolution Pill, Fossil Dig. Monster Reborn, Pot of Prosperity, Lost World, Imperms, and uh, Ice Dragon's Prison. Of course, on the side deck, or extra deck, we got the Link Karibos and Secure Gardena. So at least now, I believe we can have a chance. I've never actually played Dinos before, believe it or not. So I just I just added the cards that I know people use the uh, Dinosaur combo with. You know, you get the Overaptor, you search the Misk, I believe, and you pitch the Misk to protect yourself and then you banish it for the animadorn get the animadorn to destroy to get the evolution pill then you get to go into the link rebo secure guard gardena do the double evolution pill pitch uh banish the giant rex and some and one of the link karibos or some like the link karibo and then you know he, he gets on the field and you get the ultimate tyranno i believe that's how it works but this is a little bit more i believe this will be actually something that so it's going to be based, I mean, you've seen how bad the, the other cards, the Jurek cards were. So the fact that they kind of tie in so you can pitch kind of helps. But otherwise, it's basically dinos with Jurek sprinkled in at this point. That's how that's how bad they are. But I do have like some of their stuff tied in, like the uh, Jurek Impact, their Synchros, uh, the Eurodora Ur Faith. I mean, this is about as playable as... As they'll be able to get. Look, how many other are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You know, but obviously the stars of the show are gonna be the the real dinos. But let's try this and let's see if we can actually get a win on our own terms. All right, guys. So here we are with a revamped Jurak Dino deck. Let's see if this works any better than the first one, which and pretty much anything is better than that. The Jurex are literally some of the worst cards I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, got both Tyrannos. I don't know if that's... That, that might not be a good thing. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh... I 
Guess we can normal summon, try to bait out anything first. I doubt it'll waste it on this. Yeah, I didn't think so. How about Fossil Dig? Okay, we'll grab... Uh, they'll definitely do something about Over Raptor. But I do kind of want to get something done. Yeah, we'll grab Misk. Activate Misk. Alright, perfect. Banish Misk from the graveyard. One. Grab Animadorn. Activate Animadorn. We'll pitch or destroy the. Um. That's that one. Double evolution pill. Grab Link Karibo. Grab Secure Gardena. Activate Evolution Pill. Banish the Giant Rex and the Link Karibo. Ultimate Tyranno. And the Giant Rex. Activate Ultimate Tyranno. Send these all their Ultimate Tyranno. All right, let's battle. Yes. Attack. Well. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I should be unaffected, right? With Misk. <laughs> He's rendered. Nice. All right, guys, so that'll do it for this one. It's obviously a whole the heck of a lot better than just pure Jurax, but, you know, the Jurax will come in, kind of come in handy, you know, as, because you can go, you can almost do the whole, you know, the whole Ultimate Tyranno pretty much without normal summoning, you know, unless you go into the Over Raptor, then you, you know, that kind of cancels the Jurax out, but if you don't end up using your um, normal summon, that could come in handy, I guess. But otherwise, the Jurax by themselves are god awful. Holy shit, they're bad. But you throw them, in, sprinkle them in with with the actual Dino deck, then they could actually be a little bit more playable. But that'll do it for this Jurax deck profile, guys. If you have anything that you want to see played that I haven't that I haven't played yet, leave it down below in in the uh, comments and let me know what you think what you think of the Jurax uh, themselves as an archetype. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. But, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a whole lot to me. And then don't forget to check out my Patreon if you guys want to support the channel. Don't forget to check out some Aftershock Videos merch. Got all kinds of cool stuff. And if any of these cards interest you, don't forget to check out my TCG Player account. I will leave the link for that below in the description. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Got that below, too. And, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.